Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look how we can create one power app within Microsoft Teams. So as you know, Microsoft uh, is placing Teams as a very effective and collaborative tool and even for managing data. So this power apps give us, give us uh, one more advantage to manage our data within our Teams, within our Teams channel itself. So how to create one quick app within five minutes to manage your entire data. So I would be creating one example of uh, inventory management. So though like I am showing you one app which I have already added with one of my MS Teams. So that is chargeback where this is my entry form and all the data respect other chargebacks are listed over there in the left hand side. So this sort of same layout we are going to build for a new app. So how to start? So I have to go to this apps on the left hand side and I need to search for power app. And if you click on this power apps, so it will give you, if you're doing that for first time, it will give you one option of add the app. If you are already added this power apps, then it will give you option that's open. So I am just clicking on open. So now you can see you got this, your homepage where it's saying like start by creating a new. And as well as if you scroll down, it gives you default templates where you can already just pin it up with your Microsoft Teams or a specific channel, then you can start working with these templates, existing templates. So you can have a look on these existing ones, so probably a, a useful one where you, your team might require all these. But we are going to create one simple one. So I'll just create on, click on this start new. And this app, I'm going to uh, associate, it, uh, associate with this XIMT approval group. Or uh, let's select this finance group team. And uh, for example, I'll be uh, working for one, my admin team, my office admin team. I would like to manage my all the office inventories in one of the lists. So that example, we are going to uh, take a look along with this app. So creating app may take time, one or two minutes. So once successfully done, it will give you a notification that your app has been created. Just like that. Now I can just directly land to my app page the power app designer page where I can design my app. So as you see, I'm on my designer page. Now I can name this app. So I'll say like office, my office inventories. So if you're creating any power app for the first time, then you can see like in the designer we have three sections. One is this left hand side, which gives us uh, you the forms, the input controls and the data source. And the center one is the actual area where you work, where you design your forms and work with data. And this right hand side is uh, the properties, uh, whatever control or screen you would be selecting all the properties you would be seeing over here. And at the top, we have the, again the shortcuts for the same, like adding a data, new screen, and you can app checker if you're using formulas or the calculation controls, then you can just keep on checking your app. You have this save option. You can uh, keep on saving your data, whatever you have been designing. Automatically it saves by, by default by one minute, I think. And if you have, you have preview, like whatever you build, you can just keep checking, keep having a look on that, how it looks like. And once you're done, you can just publish this app to your teams. So we'll just start with the center screen. So now you see like we have option to start this screen. We have option with data with layout. So if I click on layout, it gives you default layout. Like you can split screen, you can have sidebar, uh, header, footer, that sort of fashion. And if you start with data, then it will give you one pop-up where you can start creating your tables. And these tables would reside under Dataverse, under your current environment. So as I said, we are going to have our office inventories maintained in this Power App. So I'll just create, start with one creating a table. I'll just name that as inventory. So this table will be created for me. And this table is nothing like it's a, just gives me a way where I can just add columns and add my data rows. So it's a pretty traditional table, nothing complex into it. 
So by default, I get one column that is name. I can just add it this one and say like my item name. And in advanced option, you can specify the length of this. So I can say like uh, increase a bit. I'll say 800. And I can keep adding my other columns to it. So I would like to have description for my item. And from here, I can change the type. But as I would need description as a text, so I'll just keep it, but I'll just increase the length. It should be under 4000. And I'll just create another column that is item count. This should be a number type. Then cost per piece. This should be also of number type. And you can have multiple more columns uh, if you wish to have this inventory table to read some data from or linked reference to another table then you can use column as lookup type but for demo uh, i'm just having this simple table nothing more than that so i'm just closing it our table is ready so once this table is ready you will start seeing a default layout created for you so i'll just uh, close or minimize this side screen so now you can see like i have two areas one is this right hand side another is left hand side so this will show the list of my inventories and this will show the all the columns all the detailed columns so this form if you see like i have selected this one and the right hand side you see like one screen one is defaultly created for us and this area is being linked up with this added form so this section we called as a form so this same form would be working as view form added form and the new form and we have this delete and edit icons so everything so if i just select it everything you would start seeing under this sections i can just left hand control is having my browse gallery control so this is bind up with the let me just open this up so that you can see like where how this is binded up so when i select browse gallery so you can see under data sources is binded to inventories and if I click on this layout, so right now it's image title and subtitle. So you can change the layout. So I've just chosen the title and subtitle only. And when you click on this added field, so this title one, title two is uh, item name and the description is the description field. So by default, it has binded. It's smart enough. Like I have chosen that title and subtitle stuff. So it binded up. You can change that column like uh, if you wish to bind it to something else something piece count then you can do that as well so i'll just say like uh, i'll say like item count so item name should be displayed but and beneath that item count should be displayed so i have just closed it and i have selected my this center part all right so i'll just close that down yep so now you see like uh, i have this uh, section so these individual in controls are called as data cards item names so these data cards are binded up with my columns which i created so if you see if i click on this edit fields so if you see like i have all these my columns i can just change the ordering of these like if let's say i wish to have my item count before comes so as uh, cost per piece then i can just move my card here and there and uh, you can also change the data type of the card if i just say like, uh, this text i can choose the layout for this text view text edit text multi-line so i'll just choose multi-line for my description so it will give me a more space over there and now i wish to have some changes to it for example i wish to change the header of this so i'll just select this my control and i'll just show you that under my preview so that what control i'm selecting and I'll just uh, resize it a bit so that my controls can be seen to you. So I'm just changing it to my office inventories. Right. So you can say new inventory. And I can just zoom that out. So now I need to add one header to it so that I can just say like it's a information it's a it's an inventory information which i'm going to fill out so i'll just again 
select this my data fields data cards and i'll just add one field so not add one field i'll just click on these three dots so that i can add one custom card which can give me a placeholder to put my header label so you, you see like it placed it at beneath at, at the bottom so i'll just move that to top so that i can use that as an header and i'll just select this control so I'll, when i just set the fit to width it took the entire width i can just set the height of it and I again like I set I off that set to width again so that it can adjust it. So now I just need to put one label inside this my card. So I'll just click on this add an item from pane. So now I will click on label. So it added up this label. I can just have my label spread across and increase the width of my label. And again to increase this font size I can just use my this property and I can just add up inventory information and I'll just fill the color to my this uh, data card so that it should look like header so now it looks like header now like our form is quite kind of ready so I have like four fields I have this gallery control and I can just save it and if I preview it I can see like office inventories new inventory so it gives me one form I can just say uh, that inventory is laptop and count is 215 as my development center has 215 employees cost is $200 and description you can just put up the description laptop for all the employees and once you save it the item has started appearing over here so item with item name and the uh, subtitle we chose that as, a, as an item count instead of description so it's working fine so I am okay so now the next step comes like when your team member should start seeing this app so for that you have to click on publish to teams and now you say uh, when you say next it will start publishing this to your teams it takes a moment to do that so now you see like you have this where you would like to have this available so you can just have one tab and that tab would be named as my office inventories save and close so our app is published to our teams so we'll just go back and take a look I just directly go to my teams and I think yep so this is my app so when I click on this office inventory management it opened up my this uh, pane where I can just add up the records item laptops and count 200 count per piece $500 and description for employees and when I just click on save, it has started appearing over here. So this tab is shared within your teams this under this general channel. So XIMT team having access to your this teams then would be able to manage all the records over here. So they can just simply have a record on the inventory, uh, look at the inventory from side and can have a view on the details. So these are just, just a simple application we just built with Power Apps within our teams and uh, within 10 minutes we have built out this app so if if you find like if there is an app where with, which you can plug in with your teams and can cut out your uh, manual work or like moving out of teams and then opening some different application and managing that so probably this is the right uh, place to work you so you can just build out your simple app and manage your data so that's it for today if you like the video please do subscribe and drop your comments if you wish me to create more extensive videos on this piece then i would be happy to create that thank you so much for today